Hey there, guys. Happy Wednesday. Um, I'm going to show you guys... Um, I'm going to use a nail stamper on clay with the little nail plates. So I'm doing fall ones because um, these are the ones I grabbed. Um, but as you can see, this is a nail plate or a stamping plate. Um, they're just little designs. You're supposed to use them for your nails. And oddly enough, mine are horrific today. Um, <clears throat> But I'm going to use paint instead of nail polish. I'm sure you could use nail polish, but I'm not going to. So, let's see. First, I'm going to make this white a different color. And I could have used a different color, but I typically don't. I always use my white or black or transparent or translucent, I mean. So, I'm just going to mark this up a little bit with some pastels just a very little bit and I have not honestly tried this with pastels <clears throat> so I'm hoping that the that it'll stick so I'm just gonna do a really light and if it doesn't stick I'm just gonna try I'm just gonna show you how it works so I'm just gonna make a little fall background for the fall leaves that I'm about to put on here and again these are really small the little prints so we're just going to kind of put them all over um, but if you were making maybe studs or something like that you could um, you know place them and then do your little whatever stud stamp you're going to use so anyway let's get to it I'll show you how this works so I'm going to do, there's some cute little patterns on this one down here. I'm going to do a couple of these kind of randomly. And then um, let me grab an orange. Hold on one second. Okay, sorry about that. Um, I got a little weird blue in there. I wonder where that came from. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is... I'm going to do this little pattern right here, and I'm going to do it in brown. Another thing you can do is you can do two colors at once. So you would put like a little spot of brown, then maybe a little spot of orange there, and then scrape it off. But I'm just going to show you with the single colors. So I'm just going to put a little blob of brown right there. This is just a little scraper, and it comes with your stamper. My stamper has a tear in it, but that's okay. And then you're gonna smush off the ex extra, but you wanna make sure that all of your, it's totally covered. So smush it on in there and then scrape it off. And make sure that there's paint all the way in there. We're gonna take our little stamper, go like this, see how the pattern is on there. And then, <laughs> stamp it so there's that and this has a little bit left on there so I'm going to do it again and then make sure that you clean it off each time that will not pick up again because I have tried so make sure you clean it off Typically, you can get two stamps off of one. And then pick something else. So I'm going to do, <clears throat> do some leaves. Actually, I'm going to do like a cluster here with, be careful not to scrape your plates around or together too much because that's bad. So I'm going to do this one that has all the little leaves on it. Just do a little dab of orange. Scrape across. 
pick that up. Let's see. And we'll just place one there and one there. Make sure to wipe everything off. Spray this with a little alcohol. I use these exclusively for clay. So if there's people that use these for their nails and they're going crazy right now watching how I'm cleaning these off and everything, it's just for craft. It's not for my nails. And then let's do a few um, leaves. Or, yeah, leaves. <clears throat> um... I'm going to do this one and maybe that one with some red. You do not need very much paint, which is good. You're not wasting it. Obviously, pick whatever colors you want. But they have, if you go on Amazon, they have literally every kind of holiday or anything that you could possibly want as far as designs for these things. I'll have them on my um, Amazon sites, of course. And like I said, you can do multiple colors. Um, just put multiple paint. This got a little extra and I want it, I don't want it, so... So, I think that's all I'm going to do because I'm only going to stamp out one thing of this. And I think we're good. You guys get the idea? It's going to be a quick video today. But do make sure that you clean it up because if not, then the paint is going to settle in those little cracks. And uh, it won't be fun. You could probably soak them out, I would think, but um, it's just easier to clean it up as you go. And that's coming from me, who never cleans up as I go. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to take it off of here. Forgive my mess over here. I have quite the mess over here. Um, so I'm going to do, I want to get a little bit of everything. Uh, I think that looks good. Sometimes when you're working with paint and whatnot, it gets a little stuck. So I just give it a little nudge out. Also, this cutter is a little bit tight. But anyway, that's how this looks. Cute. And you have a lot more variety with those than if you just get a stencil or a silk screen or something like that. You have so much more, um, so much more to choose from because there's literally, like even on these, which most of these, most of them look like this, but see even you have the little small leaves in here, but one, two, three, four, five, six, you have 12, 12 different things to choose from. And if you wanted to make a whole sheet, I mean a whole veneer, you can just keep, ch 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 it's a little, you know, maybe labor intensive, but you'll have, you know, different patterns and you can make it different colors and stuff. So they're fun to do. I'll go ahead and bake this and I'll show you how it looks when it comes out. See you soon. 
Okay, here we go, guys. This is how it looks. I got it all resined, and I made it a little necklace. Um, so that's how it looks. I should have probably done something with the edges uh, in retrospect, but I did not. So, um, But the paint stays really well, as you can see, through the baking. And... Um, uh, resining so you can see that it it stays you know just as vibrant and everything and it's super cute I did want to show you real quick some of the other plates that I have not all of the designs are small and I don't know how this is a nail plate because you're not getting that huge tree on your nail so there are bigger designs on some of these there's like a cute little tree these pumpkins are bigger this says happy Thanksgiving um, this one is huge, this Hello Autumn, um, and then like the pumpkins here, this whole big wreath um, situation. So there are some bigger patterns on these. Um, I do, there's a little cute little turkey on here um, that you can, I mean, shoot, just cover the whole thing. <laughs> and then um, I'm, I was going to try and use one of my jelly plates. I have the, hold on. ignore my mess but these jelly plates that I use are the same um, kind of consistency as those so I thought about um, maybe covering a whole thing taking the jelly plate going like this and then and then putting it on to see if that would work so I don't know give it a try uh, these are on my um, Amazon which I'll have the link in the description um, and then, of course, don't forget about Happy Place Studio. I'll have the link in there as well. And I hope you guys have a great day. See you next time. Bye.